Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dude's Kitchen, and if it's your first time here, please remember to subscribe and ring that bell. The bell's right down there. I'm El Duderino, and I'm gonna take you on this culinary explosion. Excursion? Whatever it is, we're gonna take you down it. Now I got myself a ribeye steak. Good looking ribeye steak too, you know? And I thought, you know, I could use salt, pepper, garlic on it to cook it, or some Uncle Steve shake on there, any kind, would be great on this. You know, but then I got to think, you know, anybody can do that. We do that all the time. How about a marinade? Don't really do a lot with marinades. So I got the studying marinades, right? I, you know, standard salt, pepper, garlic with some onions and mushrooms, things like that. And then I came across one and I thought, whoa, this would be interesting. So I tried it. And I'm not going to tell you if this is a pass or fail. We'll wait till the end. But I think it's worth recreating. And I'll show you what I use for my marinade. A delicious monster beverage. I know there's gonna be people out there gonna say, whoa, El Deuterino, really, a monster beverage? You're gonna ruin that steak. We might find out at the end. This is super simple to make. Got a bag. Open it up. Take our delicious ribeye steak, put it in the bag, pop the top on the monster beverage, pour it in. Let some of it spill out like that, because you know, you don't want too much in there. Now, now we're gonna let this thing sit in here for four hours. All it is, is a ribeye steak and a monster beverage. It sits for four hours, and then we're gonna cook it on the Weber kettle with the only fire Santa Maria style grill. All right, we'll see you in four. We're back. And I got our steak here, it's been marinating for four hours in our monster beverage. We're gonna cook it on the only fire Santa Maria style grill that's on top of our Weber kettle with charcoal briquettes. But I figured that since we're doing this very unconventional, anyways, this, this whole cook is unconventional, I'm gonna throw it onto the Weber unconventionally. I got one shot at this. Take my steak out. You ready for this? It's gonna take a moment. You ready? Yeah! <laughs> Look at that! Woohoo! Barely made it. <laughs> We're gonna put it over the grills, guys. We're gonna raise this up one or two. Clean the handle off now that I wasn't even thinking about that. And start letting this thing cook down. All right, let's cook it. This steak has been on for two minutes. Let's give it a flip. Oh, holy moly, that looks amazing. And it is literally just falling apart. All right, let's give it another two minutes. Then two more minutes. Ooh, dang. This thing may fall apart before it's even done. I'm going to lower it one more. There we go. A little bit over the coals themselves. <laughs> Literally. That, using the monster for a marinade, just the acidity in there in the monster just work its magic in there. But the big test is the flavor, of course. All right, another two minutes, Dan. Heck yeah. I think we're about two or three minutes away from this being done. Wow, that is so tender. All right, another two minutes is down. Let's give it a flip. Looking good, let's check the temp. Ah, 135, 136, that's perfect. Let's pull it. That thing just wants to fall apart, man. Look at that. This, oh, looks so good though. All right, let's try it. All right, let's 
give it a shot. Cuts easily. Looks good in there. You know, one of our viewers said that they'd like to see the inside of a steak as well. Just to kind of see what we got going on. So I thought I would, you know, show them. There we go. There's the inside. That's just about perfect. All right, let's give it a shot. It's actually really good. You know, you do get some of the sweetness from the monster, believe it or not. I like it. It's um, You get the steak, but you get that sweetness. But I do definitely want to try it with salt and pepper. Let's see what kind of added dimensions to the flavoring we get. Okay, that's great. Mm. You still get the sweetness out of that, but you get that little bit of that salt pepper taste to it in there as well. It's actually really good, guys. I'm very surprised at how well a monster works. There's 50 different kinds of monsters. There's 100 different types of uh, beverages out there for energy drinks. You can try it, give it a shot, tell me what you think. Maybe it's not your style. I get it. I totally get it. Hey right, guys, you saw how we made it. Super easy. Just as long as you're willing to spend four hours to let this thing marinate in a monster beverage or anything of your choice. It's totally worth it. All right, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell for notifications. Really appreciate everybody showing up. We're still under remodel. I think we're going to be under remodel forever. We really do. Uh, it's, it's a slow process. All right, we'll talk to you later. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. Thanks for watching.